Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic, and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the topic of, do dogs have spirit guides? Before I begin, as usual, just to make a couple announcements, I recently posted uh, two attunements onto my attunement store, one of which was, say, Depna. So if you are someone who needs some type of guidance, comfort, or help with mental afflictions and nervous disorders, uh, other type of um, mental health issues, St. Dipna is probably your lady. Uh, secondly, uh, I put an attunement to St. Francis. So St. Francis, Francis is the patron saint of animals and the environment. So if you are looking for a better perception of uh, psychic information with your pets, uh, in, in better communication and influencing with um, animals in general, um, then seek him out. I'm going to put that in the link in the description. So today I'm going to be uh, talking again about um, do dogs have spirit guides? Well, I just wanted to uh, start out by saying that if you are a follower of this channel and have seen most of my videos, then you will have seen that my dog, uh, Knight, he, um, American Eskimo dog, uh, that he appeared in some of the videos. He would sometimes, when I'm on the patio, go into the, the back patio door, which is, you know, has some glass in it, and he'll peer in to see what I was doing and whatnot, and once or twice, and even on Patreon, I'd pick him up, and he'd say hello. Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, Knight passed away about a week and a half ago. Um, he was uh, 15, uh, almost, he was on his way to 16, he was about 15 and a half, and he suddenly had, uh, you know, in the middle of the day, uh, severe trouble walking with his back legs, um, almost like they were paralyzed, and he was very agitated, so I uh, had to take him to the vet, and... Um, at that time, the vet didn't know what to do with him. It was um, age-related, and it could be um, a number of things, um, all of which weren't easy to treat. So I had to make that hard decision that every uh, pet owner makes. And when you're thinking about the, the quality of life for your pet, whether it be a dog or a cat, and when you see that they, you know, when a dog can no longer dog, and they're not going to have any... Um, you know, no such quality of life or enjoy themselves as the being that they were um, embodied to be, then you kind of have to make that hard decision, which I had to make. So uh, Knight is no longer with us, and um, it inspired me to do this video. And one of the reasons why it inspired me to do this video was because um, one of our routines, me and Knight, was that he, um, as he got older, he had to go to the bathroom. He couldn't, uh, I guess, hold, hold, couldn't wait as long to use the restroom. So I would get up at my normal time. It would be 4.30. I have to get up for work. And I would take him out and um, he would do his thing. And, you know, I put him back to bed and everything. Uh, so about two weeks prior to this situation with Knight, uh, by the way, when you're, you've, if you've done any type of um, psychic work, a lot of it has to do with you being in a, a form of trance to get this um, information psychically. So when we wake up and we're not completely in, you know, in our right mind, so to speak, uh, and we're still kind of halfway um, in the, your mind is in sleeping almost, that we can kind of pick up um, some information because our normal filters of our ego and of our conscious mind aren't uh, solidly rooting us there. So uh, when I put Knight back into his bed two weeks prior to the situation, I started getting information. I started getting information because there was a question that I had about, you know, will I know when it is time to make that hard decision that I had to eventually make? 
would he be able to say anything? And when I laid him down, I started getting the information. And it was uh, what I perceive as his spirit guides. Uh, what I got was that he, uh, well, I, uh, I was shown a few things. One is that when he, when it was time for him to pass, that he wouldn't, it wouldn't be because of his organs, like his heart or his kidneys or cancer or anything uh, that is, you know, major organ internal type of stuff. That what I was shown was the fact that he would not be able to to move well, he wouldn't, you know, he, he wouldn't be able to, to, to stand, walk and do all those things that are vital for dogs and anyone, you know, to do. So I was shown that. And secondly, um, I was told that Knight would not be able to communicate that it was time that he and I, on another level, spiritual level, uh, prior to him coming and, and meeting me, created an, an arrangement. Um, sometimes in spiritualism we call that soul contracts. And that when it was time that he let me have to make that judgment and that it wasn't it was not going to be about you know him giving permission it was a, it's like entrusting that decision with me that i would be wise enough to know when it was that time so uh, i got that piece of information too and then lo and behold as i mentioned two weeks later you know i had to make that decision so it was timely and it was uh uh, it was what it was, I guess. So, I um, to do this video, I talked to several people with pets. I talked to people uh, that I know that are into this type of work. I have a friend who is a minister, has a Saint Francis ministry, where she uh, goes and blesses uh, pets. St. Francis's feast day, which just passed, by the way. And, um, you know, he is, as I mentioned, he is the patron saint of, of animals and people bring their pets for, you know, spiritual blessings of the minister, which I thought was really cool. So, uh, night, actually I got him a, to wear in his harness when he was alive. Uh, a St. Francis uh, medal, which I um, attuned with the uh, St. Francis energy. So he had that as he passed on. Uh, in any case, uh, I believe that animals, just like people, have spirit guides and uh, those that will help nudge them maybe in the right direction to give them information if they're open to it and his guides uh, spoke to me so i think all sentient beings have these helpers have have these figures that are um, assisting us um actually what i what i noticed what was that as he got older let's say two three months before uh, you know, he crossed the Rainbow Bridge, as they say, uh, that he was sleeping more. And, you know, if you look at what philosophers and people say about sleep, because um, the sleep, like, I think people poke, refer to it as uh, tiny slices of death. Uh, sleep being traditionally one of the ways that people first get introduced to astral projection. So there's always been this connection between sleeping and entering other realms. And I always kind of felt that when he was going into these states of sleep, that he was actually going and exploring and 
probably connecting uh, with guides, masters, and things like that. Because we can't just judge him on the being that he was. It's the spirit that, that is within his body, which is eternal. And that um, will kind of um, live on. So, spirit guides, you know, I think we all have them. So in any case, that's just kind of what I wanted to share. It's also one of the reasons why I've been kind of uh, didn't do a video uh, last week, kind of trying to manage things. So in any case, if uh, you are interested, check out the attunements in the attunement store. If you want, I'll put in the link in the description for, for the Etsy store. If you want more content, you can check out my Patreon. And uh, thank, please subscribe and like and keep everything going. I enjoy doing this channel and I appreciate all of you who watch it and leave comments and uh, like the channel and everything, so in the videos. So I will talk to you later. All right, y'all have a good rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.